Parents' evening was a really nerve-wracking time for me. Um, for the most part, the early part of my secondary school life, I was really, 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 really nervous whenever there was a parents' evening day. But the, my fears weren't really to do with grades and teacher feedback, but more about how my parents would come across to my peers and my teachers. Um, I'm Indian, my, both my parents are Indian, and although my school's diverse, I very much felt Indian. And I distinctly remember every time my mum and dad would drive to the school and came to the time of getting out the car, um, my mum would say, you know, should we go now? And I'd look at my dad and I'd say, Mum is okay if only you come. Now my dad has a beard and a turban and I was worried about how, about what people would think and because he was just visually too, too different to the other parents. My mum is quite fair skinned, my dad is darker skinned and it was, it, it, it's horrible that, that I thought that and that I was worried about that and it really, really irritates me now. It was absolutely disgusting and, and I remember the look on my dad's face. He just know. He, this isn't anything that surprised me. He would know that this is something. And I remember he'd always joke about how we were ashamed of him. And, but it was always a joke. And, but then actually in practice when I, you know, was very obviously reluctant. And this reluctance isn't anything that's new. It's just a product of Islamophobic slurs and racist remarks and the kind of preconceived ideas of beauty and what I perceived as a direct dichotomy of, you know, what I believed was beautiful and correct and right. But it's good that, you know, I can realise and move on and accept that it wasn't necessarily my individual fault, but the kind of things I'm culturally consuming and the things that are externally around me. And I guess the important thing is that parents' evening is really less about about grades and all that, but for people of colour it can be a big thing. Um, it's a constant stage of visual comparison and, you know, it can manifest these anxieties in a lot of different ways and, you know, I guess this is just a very, very small example.